Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a video with just a couple of materials. And really, this is the inspiration for today's video, are these beautiful uh, alliums. Now, I actually bought these bulbs last year in Aldi or Lidl's, um, planted them, and they've been really good. So we've got a few uh, of the actual flowers, and they were so easy to grow. You just stick them in the ground, and that was it. But I've also got a little bit of kangaroo paw as well, and uh, I want to use this simple container. So this container is going to give us a really nice base. Uh, it's nice and weighty. When I put water in it, it's going to be perfect. And what we're going to use just to catch those stems is a little bit of uh, aluminium wire. So this is like a soft, pliable wire. This one is from Oasis. Um, but any of the kind of floral ones you can get are ideal. So I don't want this to go all the way down because then it might just disappear. And the first thing we need to do is we need to add some water. So really important when you're creating a flower display is to have a good water source with or without an extra leaf. Don't know where that came from. And then we want to just have a wee think about what we're going to make. So this is really going to be quite a quick little video. And uh, initially I was thinking I would quite like to use this wire as a feature, but I think actually we're going to get more of an impact by just using the, the kangaroo and that. It's more natural and then this really just acts as the mechanic then rather than uh, a feature. It's not impossible to use it as a feature, but I, th I think it would take away a little bit from this being just natural. So, really with this, I want to showcase this material. So we need to think about what we want to do. We've basically got colour combination, but we've also got a contrast between mass and this lightness of material. So we can really fill this in and make uh, an interesting combination of the two materials. So what I could do is I could go in one direction with this and then work our flowers in here. So we've definitely got a line in one direction or we can go in this way and work our flowers into the centre, which is quite interesting as well. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do it, but rather than do it in one straight line, I think uh, just slightly V-shaped. So they're not sitting exactly straight across, they're coming at an angle, is quite interesting. And this is going to seem really wicked, but what I want to do is really show the roundness of these rather than um, the length of the stems. So straight away, this is really cute. It doesn't need much, so this is going to be a very quick video, but really just shows that um, when you've got some materials, if you have a little play with it, you can you can make something interesting. So I quite like this as well. So this is quite modern. Um, if we wanted, we can add a contrast with our longer stem. I think that's quite cute. And we could actually come in here. We could add a line to here. Um, You've got lots of different options. I think mm, it could even come out to here would be quite interesting. So when you're making a flower arrangement, part of the process is really enjoying the process, uh, not necessarily finding that there's a right or a wrong or whatever. Uh, but just enjoying being creative, enjoying making it and uh, see where the materials take you. I want to make sure that there's a bit of a space between these two. 
So, I'm quite happy with this. This is quite fun, it's quite interesting. I mean, in some ways you could add lines, you could add these stems to create some other feature. But what's really nice about this is we've got this combination of the colour, we've got space, we've got a little bit of line as well, uh, and it's just clean and modern and it really works well in this container. So that is today's quick little video. It shows that you don't need a lot of materials, but if you find the two right materials in combination, then you can make a great arrangement. Now we've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for future videos, but we've also got videos that we've done over the last seven years. And maybe if you're interested, you'd like to have a look at this one, which is a little posy arrangement which shows that just by adding a little collar, you can create a really interesting design that's basically framed by the addition of a collar. So thank you for joining us. I hope you feel inspired and would love to see you next time. So until then, take care and uh, see you soon.